What's up, go-getters? It is Alice Gordon here. It is a bright, early, beautiful morning, and I just wanted to pull over and record this message. I want to talk to you about what you should do if you feel lost, and I wanted to cover this topic because I know a lot of people feel this way, and it sounds drastic, okay? Feeling lost sounds drastic, but if you feel like you've lost your way, like you have brain fog, you lack mental clarity, you just feel like you're floating. Some of the things that once gave you um, in ex- excitement and enjoyment and motivation no longer do. So you're kind of trying to figure out, what do I do with my business? What do I do with my life? Where am I in life? I wanted to record this video to help you. What the crazy the crazy thing is, is that this video has act was actually inspired by one of my older videos. One of my older videos came up for me the other day, and I started to watch it, and I was like, you know what, this will be a really really good topic to hit again, but from a different angle. So I know this summer, guys, it's been a little rough for me mentally. Um, but one of the main reasons is because summertime definitely is a time that I like to take off from as many things as I possibly can. Um, But there are some aspects of my business, like my subscription and my retail side that I can never really be off from. So it's been extremely stressful. There are a lot of aspects of a subscription box business, especially if you are bootstrapping the business. I'm I'm basically the um, sole decision maker. So a lot of things I have to decide and pull by myself. There are people that help, of course. But I am the main decision maker in my business. So it can be very, very draining trying to run a business when you know that this particular season, your energy for doing so is very low. Um, so I've had feelings of brain mental fog, brain fog, just feeling like, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. I don't know what I want to do. <laughs> just a whole lot of different things have been in the air for me and I really had to ground myself and get back to the foundation of my why and I want to talk to you about that today so number one one of the number one ways that you can get yourself back on track um, get yourself grounded again is to go back to the drawing board and set the foundation again Sometimes you have to build the foundation of the house again. And the fun thing about life and business is that this can literally be done at any time. You can rebuild and set a new foundation anytime that you choose to, okay? So just because you, you know, have had a particular idea or maybe you're working a certain job or whatever it is that you're doing, just because you've been doing that for a while, um, it is never too late to go back to the basics, go back to the ABCs, one, two, threes, and start that thing over again. It's never too late to have to go back, revisit why you started, tweak some things, and start again. So sometimes it's needed to do that. So one of the ways that I have helped clients over the years and myself to be able to reset um, and to go back to the foundation of my why, of why I'm doing things, is these foundational questions. So I want you to answer these questions. These are amazing questions for you to journal on. These are also amazing questions for you to ask from your power as well. So I I normally don't suggest that you ask these questions um, in the mindset of a low vibration or a low frequency or feeling really bad about yourself. What I want you to do is to close your eyes and picture yourself in the best possible you know, scenario. Picture yourself in the best possible light. See yourself in the best possible light in the best possible scenario. And then you want to ask yourself these questions. Like if I were living my ideal life, living my dream life, let me put myself and see myself in that space and position. And then I answer these questions. So the first question is, who am I? That's the first question you want to ask. And while you are standing in your power, you want to describe yourself, whatever comes to mind. What do you want to say about yourself? What are all the amazing, unique things that you can write about yourself? So who am I? So ask yourself who you are. And you're standing in your power you're, when you're describing who you are. The second question is, what do I do? You want to write down all of the things that you're great at doing. Okay. Write that all out. 
on paper what are what are you great at doing what is your zone of genius what do you what are you good at you know write all that stuff down what are the things that you still do that you love and enjoy that bring you joy write all those things down so then after you ask yourself what do I do ask yourself who do I serve you know who are the people that I serve and even if you don't have a business that's okay even if you don't even go to a nine to five that's okay let's just say you are stay-at-home mom or stay-at-home dad what do you do What do you do? Who do you serve? Maybe it's your children. Maybe it's your friends. You give them a listening ear and some advice from time to time. Or you serve at a homeless shelter and you help the poor. What what, what do you do, right? And who do you serve? Put that all on paper. So it doesn't matter what your situation is. You can still answer these questions. Then once you put that down, where are they stuck? So basically, what do these people typically come to me for? What type of advice do they ask me for? How am I typically helping people? Okay, what value am I bringing to these people? And how the last one is how is my product, my service, or myself? How am I the answer? How am I the answer? And I feel like these are some really, really powerful questions that even if you thought you weren't good for nothing, <laughs> Even if you thought you weren't good for nothing, I'm pretty sure you can come up with some good deed that you have done to help somebody and no deed is too small. Okay, so that's where this list is starting from. Okay, the second one is to ground yourself. And number one was also some grounding questions as well. But number two is to ground yourself. The way that I like to ground myself is by praying and reading my Bible and just centering myself there, okay? I know a lot of other people have many different ways that they like to ground themselves, whether it's meditation, you know, music, whatever they like to do. But my way of grounding myself is prayer and reading of the Bible and that really really helps me to remind me of who I am to remind me that everything is going to be okay to remind me that as long as I'm still here honey okay (laughs) there is hope for tomorrow so that's what I do but whatever your steps are at this time to ground yourself you got to go back to that drawing board and start to ground yourself because you need some grounding Getting out in nature is a really good thing to do. Being around the trees, being around the breeze. Right now where I am, it is unbearable. (laughs) It is hot, okay? So I can't be outside around the trees right now. Like this is the best view we got, okay? Y'all might hear the air condition in this video. I apologize in advance because it is just too hot for me to like roll down my windows and do this video. It would not be cute to watch, (laughs) okay? So, um, but ground yourself, whatever that may mean. That's the next step. And then number three is look back on how far you have come and give thanks. Give thanks. And I know you remember me saying that what inspired this video was one of my old videos, y'all. That's because it was a particular day. I needed encouragement. So I went back on my old content and started to watch it. And boy, did I, God spoke through me to me, (laughs) literally. God spoke through me to me through those videos. Another way you can do that is journal. If you're having a really good day, write to your future self and date it. Write to your future self and date it. And one thing I do is I'm a very digital technical type of person. So although I keep journals, you know, that I actually use like physical journals that I actually use, I also have a journal called Grateful. I think that's what it's called, Grateful, that I use on my phone. And I like it because it dates all my entries. And then when I want to go back a year from now, I can just search it and it bumps me back to a year from now. And if I get lucky on a certain day, I might be speaking into my own life about how, you know, don't worry. Things always work out for you. You know, this is something that you went through and you overcame it. And I'm, I'm basically speaking to myself. There's nothing more powerful than you speaking to yourself, than you speaking into your own situation. So keep those journal entries. If you have a YouTube channel, put out that positive content. Go back to your videos a year from now and just kind of see what you you were talking about. It might bless your socks off. I don't know. But I hope that these have helped you. I hope that these have helped to, um, you know, just get grounded. If you like this video, guys, don't forget to thumbs it up. Leave me a comment. Help your girl out. 
you know, share it, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Any of those actions, guys, really, really greatly helps this content to reach more people. Don't forget about the Goal Getter Community Tribe. We have some tiers of some great perks for channel supporters. So if you've already joined that community, a big, huge thanks and shout out to all of my Goal Getter Supporter Community members. And also... I do have another channel. It has more of this kind of stuff, but more of a faith-based vibe, okay? If you want more of this kind of content and more faith-based content, please definitely check out my other channel, which is called Grit and Grace, and subscribe over there because that's amazing as well. So be blessed, loves. I will see you on the next one. Thank you.